This is a review of the 2019 Capitacazu Kokobo Pro. It's made to be a powder and free ride board. It has the Alpine V3 profile, which means that it has a rocker nose and the rest of the board is traditional camber. The rocker nose is to help the board float in powder and also helps make turns smooth and easy. The traditional camber is there to give it a solid and stable feel, good edge hold and pop. I rode this at Mount Hotham in Victoria, Australia as well as Nozawa Onsen and Hakuba in Japan. I rode the 157cm model with mid-flexing Solomon District bindings set up with a stance width of 22.5 inches with my front foot at 12 degrees and my back foot at negative 9 which is the same setup I ride on pretty much every board. I wear Solomon launch boa boots and I've used this combination of boots and bindings for most of my other reviews in the last couple of years which gives me a better idea of how a board really rides I'm not having to get used to new boots and bindings each time I test a new one. I first rode the Kazu for a few laps at the end of the season in Hotham in very warm slushy conditions. It wasn't anywhere near enough riding to give a proper review but enough to give me an idea of what it's like. After a couple of laps my first impression was that turning was at strong point. It was quick edge to edge and had a very smooth feeling. That impression stayed and the more I rode it in Japan the more that seemed to be true. Unfortunately we didn't get lucky with the weather and I wasn't able to film riding in much deep snow. So this review is mostly based on riding in hard, springy and slushy conditions. I'm going to talk about how the camber profile feels, how stable it is at speed, the edge hold, the pop and the flex. Before I rode it, it sounded like a board that would suit me. I like traditional camber boards best with a mid to stiff flex rating if I'm not riding it in the park. Without getting too technical, it's one of the more expensive capita boards, so there are plenty of features which they put in to justify the price. The core has a bunch of bamboo in it, there's some carbon bits, and it has a fast sintered base. The board I was riding had nice sharp edges and had just been waxed. As an overall guide, it rides like a camber board, which is a good thing. Riding fast feels solid, and I didn't get the feeling that I was going to catch an edge. Sometimes there's a trade-off with camber boards, they can be a bit harder to ride at slow speeds, but I didn't notice it on this one. The camber's fairly low. You can see from the shot on the table that it isn't a super aggressive amount, and combined with the rocker nose, it wasn't hard work to ride. Lots of powder boards get their float from being short and wide, and the trade-off is they're a bit slower edge to edge. With my size 9.5 boots, I had a good amount of overhang on the toes and the heels, so the turns felt nice and quick edge to edge. Starting a turn is very smooth and easy. Edge holds good throughout the whole turn and I'm guessing that the small amount of taper is helping to add to that feel. Even riding switch in a heel side turn jumping around to toe side felt nice. The capita say it has a flex rating of 6.5 out of 10 and that seemed to be pretty close to what I felt. I weigh 70 kilos so I could flex it a bit but nothing crazy. I could get okay pop out of a stiffer feeling tail but I had to work for it. it didn't have a lively springy feel to it. Spinning was smooth, the nice side cart made setup turns easy, and it wasn't too hard to stop the rotation if I went a bit too far around. Riding in deep soft slush was good, very cruisy, I could only imagine that it would be much better in proper powder. Even though it definitely isn't made for it, it was still alright in the park. It could do the job of a jump board pretty well, it still has a solid feel. Rails and boxes were fine, but it's definitely not made for it. Even though it's marketed as a free ride powder board, I could recommend it as a do everything all mountain board, especially for someone who just likes to turn and carve. It doesn't have a catchy feel or full camber, but it's still pretty solid, so you don't need to be an aggressive rider to get a lot from it. Let me know if you have any questions on it in the comments below, or if there is a board I should try and review next. If you like these videos, subscribe to the channel. I have a few more boards that I've filmed riding on, and when winter coming up, I should be able to get a few more done as well. If you like these videos, subscribe to the channel. I've filmed with a few more boards, and with winter coming up, I should film with some more too. I have a few more boards that I've filmed with, and have plenty of 2020 models that I'd like to try.